my topic today is something I've wanted to film for a long time but it's really wide and you can speak about anything with this because uh, the fundamental idea of it is that it's the people who make the culture and not the culture who make the that makes the people as I would say it because there are others who think that it's the other way around and uh, it may something to it may have something to do with the way you perceive authority I think because you either create your own destiny and make up your own mind and believe what you believe or you believe what uh, somebody else told you maybe God maybe Wikipedia because I might be speaking about religion right now I could be also speaking about subcultures or I could be speaking about some uh, national traditions and uh, I'm sure that some of you are are rather followers and you just uh, you just do what others tell you and I'm not saying it's wrong I'm not saying it's wrong because not everyone has the time or the creativity to actually think about things and uh, I don't necessarily want to tell anybody that uh, they're a sheep, sheeple or anything like that but uh, it can be hard sometimes if you want to be something or you are used to being something but then you realize a certain aspect of it does not really suit what you believe and then you try to force it into your brain and into your heart or you want to leave the whole concept which makes it kinda I don't know I'm not really sure but uh, it seems to me like not everything has to be that uh, strict there will be some main ideas that uh, define that define whether you belong into that group or you don't but uh, there are other things that uh, people have chosen to add to it and that may have been there before but uh, that uh, won't really won't really ruin it if they won't be there so we had social studies in high school and the teacher said something about uh, eclectic religions not being uh, legit because uh, religion is something that some some deity has given to you and uh, there are all the rules in it so you have the bible and then it's legit because uh, there were the ten commandments and they were given to humans by god and therefore they're all legit and everything that happened to I don't know Jesus in the New Testament is all legit because that's the way the the apostles wrote it and that's the way it was written and uh, therefore it's a religion that has some some basis from an authority and therefore that's that's the way it should be and of course uh, most uh, most Christians don't actually think that it's a hundred percent true so there is space for uh, interpretation of the metaphors and for all of that and uh, that's why there are so many Christian churches because it's so diverse because it's been there for a long time and there have been innovations and it doesn't really mean that the people are not Christians anymore but uh, still it's got some basis but then there are I don't know then there are eclectic pagans like me and I don't think that my faith is not legit just because uh, I didn't get some scripture from a god or anyone I think it's even more legit because I don't have to force any ideas into my brain and into my heart that I don't believe I simply believe what I believe I don't care that uh, uh, my my belief in uh, parallel universes is from somewhere else than my belief in cosmic energy or my belief in in the power of placebo being a completely legit way of medicine of of healing even though it's not actually magic or anything all of that comes from different sources and does that mean that i am um, that I believe uh, things that are, that are not real 
No, because it's the natural way your brain was uh, made by your DNA and you were born, you inclined to something, right? You were born to like apple pie, you were born to like orange mugs and uh, you cannot force yourself to dislike them. Just because uh, you believe in God and somebody says that uh, that uh, if you believe in God you should not like something, that doesn't mean... You can, you can convince yourself logically and rationally that it's not right. That's what people. Uh, that's what some people should do: convince themselves rationally that something they like is not right. Cause we've got, we've got violent people, and rapists, and people with, uh, I don't know, with many sexual dev deviations and everything. And some of them are not, uh, not really moral and not really ethical. And uh, they, they have to tell themselves. I don't want to do this because it's not not right. But it doesn't mean that they don't feel that way. And with something completely innocent like believing in magic or liking orange mugs, it's not something that uh, you have to suppress. Because it's not hurting anybody that you believe in something. And uh, with subcultures, I'm sure that it works the same way. We had uh, this post in a punk group on Facebook that I'm not part of anymore because uh, I haven't listened to punk since I was about 14. I mean the traditional idea of punk. Not something that I call punk but doesn't fit into that category. But, you know, just guys with mohawks and beers and all of that. So I was in this group and uh, there was, uh, let me, let me think about it. What was it about? Yeah, there was this guy, completely angry and complaining in a post that uh, punks should stick together because they're punks. Because he met, uh, he met a punk girl or guy, I don't know, uh, in the street and uh, he just say, said hi and wanted to wanted to speak to that person and the person told him to go away because they were not in the mood to speak with him and he was angry about that because punk, punks should stick together and love each other and compliment each other's hairstyles and everything and necessarily have to become best friends ever just because they're punks and he was he was out of his tits he was he was like using swear words he was so angry that he really called this person something bad just because of that and he was angry about that and he was completely I don't know I think that although punk is against being sheeple this guy may have been because that's a problem with subcultures that the people uh, actually become part of the subcultures not because they're naturally inclined to the music but because they want to follow something I think that's why I became a punk at 11 because it seemed interesting it seemed new and it had its own rebellion so I could express my puberty full on, on in a full-on volume that all the teachers uh, were completely lost in and they knew not how to how to deal with it but uh, yeah then I just uh, realized over time that it was not really for me artistically aesthetically musically yeah but uh, it was a safe thing because I w didn't have to be just myself. I had something to refer to. I didn't say I'm because I'm like that because I am myself. I could just say it's okay because there are these punks and they do it too. So I'm just being a punk like them. And that's not what it should be about. So I com commented on this post and I wrote that uh, and I simply wrote something like, uh, like, come on, you don't, uh, 
you don't uh, have to be like that because you're actually speaking crap uh, if you just want to make friends within your subculture and think and think that everything everyone that listens to the same music has to be like you and has to be compatible and has to be your friend then you're not any better than you're not basically any better than than anyone than anyone else th else that like judges uh, judges punks or anything cuz uh, those people can be can be the same they can say i'm not going to be their friend because they are a punk or a metalhead or anything and and i just wrote something something in that style yeah and that uh, that everyone should be an individual and if you uh, and if you want to make punk a cult instead of a subculture that is uh, that is open and then it's free and that should be about individualism and not grouping like fucking sheep that you that you actually judge like punks always judge sheep don't be sheep don't be conformist yeah it's like the yeah, it's actually like the the jokes, uh, like the jokes about uh, the goth kids in South Park, because the goth kids always uh, always say someone's a conformist. Yeah, and being a conformist is wrong, but uh, you have to dress like us if you don't want to be a conformist. You have to dress in black and everything. And we've got up, uh, we've got plenty of beautiful videos about elitism and con conformism and everything in the goth subculture so you can go watch Angela Benedict or Offerbs and Alters or somebody like that and uh, I wrote this comment and the guy said sorry that's poser thinking and I didn't quite understand why that was poser thinking. I'm sure that he just used the the word poser as a bad word, because that's the worst any anyone can ever call you if you're in a subculture and somebody calls you a poser. It's way worse than if they called you a bitch or a cunt or a whore or anything. No, being a poser is the worst. So I think it's. If you're listening to this, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think so. Because if he had thought about it, he would have known that actually he's the one being a poser. Because he thinks being a punk means adapting to it so much that you have to, that you have to like all the other punks, despite their individual personalities. Despite everything that they are, because they're simply a punk, so you expect them to also confirm, and then you conform, and everybody's such an such a conformist that you're all the same, and you instantly become best friends, because in your conformed little box, you always have something to something to talk about, and you always agree with each other, because there's this conformist idea that you have to conform to otherwise you would not be part of the subculture hence you'd be a fucking conformist as opposed to the subculture and then you're a poser so i am a poser because i don't want to i don't want to pretend i am a 100% punk I don't want to pretend that I am the manifestation of uh, the 100% typical punk. Instead, I have been true to myself since I've grown out of it. So I'm being true to myself, therefore I'm not a punk. A 100% punk. If you mean punk as a subculture and not punk as uh, an attitude, a statement or whatever. We've got punk and then we've got punk right like i can say i can say i've cut off my hair in this video and that's so punk but it doesn't have to mean that it's got something to do with uh, the music yeah so i am not 
I'm not this punk, and therefore I'm a poser, he thinks. But uh, I'm the one being true to myself, and he's the one not being true to himself. So that makes him a poser, and he hadn't thought about it, because he would have uh, written something else, but he wouldn't have used this word referring to me. But uh, to himself, if he if he agreed with me, which he didn't, but uh, I think he didn't think about it. I think uh, he was one of those, those people who didn't really think and uh, uh, it's the people that create the culture. And that's why it can be so diverse and so interesting to to be part of something like that because you share ideas. If you all are of the same same opinion it leads you nowhere. You never learn anything. I wouldn't like to spend uh, all my time with people who, who would argue with me and who would uh, tell me all the time that uh, my opinion was wrong. But that's not uh, really what I mean, you know? Because there is a basis. So the basis, uh, I don't know, with God, it's uh, the music. And uh, the aesthetic, uh, not what you wear and uh, your makeup, but your your aesthetic uh, here inside, you know, like what you what you like, what you prefer. And uh, so that's the basis, and that's why some people call themselves gods and identify as gods. But but we're all different, and with punks, I think it's the same, and with uh, with religion. Why not have a Christian who believes in some things that another Christian doesn't believe in, but they can still be Christians if they both believe that uh, Jesus loves them and died for them? Why not? You don't always have to be so rigid. Of course there will be something that doesn't change, but that doesn't mean you have to conform 100% to everything that's been written and also people who have their own faith. It uh, doesn't mean that it's less legit just because they don't follow every word that's written somewhere but instead think with uh, their own head and believe in what they think is right. So that's it. Not sure if I was clear but I'm sure that I've already said enough. Bye. Bye.